back like we never left BDA and I've been holding off and I've been processing this information and it's time to talk about it. Batman vs Superman, um, Dawn of Justice. I've seen a lot of reviews about it and it's pretty much split and even on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everyone really feels like it's literally split down the middle. I'm here to bring a different perspective about this movie and in two categories. If you're a casual moviegoer and if you have some knowledge of the DC universe, we're gonna go through the characters, we're gonna go through the plot, we're gonna go through what we see you know, coming up in the next movie, how they should have handled it. This is gonna be a full review of spoilers, all of that if you haven't watched the movie you should not watch this vi video because it's going to reveal a lot about the movie so first let's let's talk about the characters how they did and basically how they portrayed their role so first i'm gonna talk about henry cavill um he's superman i think he did an okay job he did yeah i think he's a really good superman or a good superman mm, really good superman he's a really good superman um but this story while he was the catalyst it wasn't about him. It was. It was more. I feel like it was more Batman's movie, but it was a. It, Superman was the catalyst. He was the center of everything, but it was more Batman. I think he did a good job. It's not much to play in Superman. This has to be a nice guy. It's not many levels there. So if. For what it's worth, he did a good job. Lois Lane, I'm not sure why she was in the movie. Okay, okay. the thing is, she was a damsel in distress the whole movie. Pretty much that that's what she was, that was her role. And Lois Lane, I feel like she should be a bit stronger. She should basically support Superman, but Superman always was, he was always saving her. And it, it just felt like this isn't what I want in the movie. This She was just always in the way. She wasn't progressing the story or the plot. She was just always in the way. So that's where she was. I like Amy Adams a lot and it was crazy how they portrayed her but it is what it is um who else we have jesse eisenberg but first let's talk about ben affleck um ben affleck did a marvelous job um i think i prefer him more than christian bale a lot of people are gonna give me shit for this but that's just me i prefer him because i feel like he was an awesome bruce wayne and at, at no point did i really feel like okay christian bale isn't uh, not christian bale ben affleck is in this movie um ben affleck is no i looked at it as like man I, I, i'm a loving batman right now so he did a great job as um, Bruce Wayne as Batman it was different it was it was a, a lot more violent he was killing people he was definitely killing people and that was different it was, it was kind of weird but it was cool at the same time because it was like we've never seen this side of Batman before some of the fight scenes look sluggish with him I've seen this before people saying he was like he was more like the Punisher in in the movie and it's pretty much true let's talk about the others the Wonder Woman the Flash Aquaman Cyborg. Okay, if you watch Scandal, Papa Pope was in the movie. <laughs> so Flash, Urza Miller, I believe that's his name. Um, he made a brief appearance when he came back from the past or from the future to warn Batman saying Lois Lane is the key. Random as hell. Like, if like a lot of people were confused about that. And then when he was in the store and he he, he put in some work really quickly, um, that was a that was a small cameo. Aquaman was kind of um, weird. Like, it was just like a long pause. I don't know what was going on going on there um but it's jason momoa from game of thrones cal drogo that was really cool um and then we had cyborg i'm not i'm not sure who cyborg was but then we had that that, that was okay um but wonder woman wonder woman um when she showed up at the end to kind of save batman you know i clapped everyone really clapped them being together i think that was that, that was really cool when she came in there like she was had cameos here and there but she didn't do a lot of talking and a lot, i've heard people say that the accent kind of it was distracting the thing is it, it kind of was because i didn't know what she was saying in certain places because it was just like it was it was a heavy accent it was really heavy and it was just like mm, uh, it sounds good she sounds cute but i don't know what she's saying it was driving me crazy so that's the only thing but i think she looks like wonder woman yeah she's really tall which is cool um i just i just thought that she portrayed the role in a very good way even though she had she didn't have that many scenes if we could flip her for Lois Lane, it would have been the next, it would have been a better movie, I should, I'd say that. Now, <clears throat> to the most controversial portrayal in the movie, Jesse Eisenberg um, as Lex Luthor. I believe he is Lex Luthor Jr., but the thing is, the Lex Luthor that we know of, uh, Lex Luthor from uh, Smallville, it's like this, 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 he's more business-like, he's, he's, he can stand, like, 
he can be a worthy adversary for Superman and Batman. But in this one, Jesse Eisenberg, he seemed like he was more of this maniacal, cynical, he, he was crazy. These are the type of villains that I enjoy the most, but not in this role, not in this role. I think he gave me more of a Joker vibe which was Heath ledger -y. It's like he was, he, he, he knew he was the smartest person in the room and he was comfortable with making people uncomfortable, but he didn't realize he was doing it, if that makes sense. But I feel like it was more like the Joker, which I mean, in this role, it, he had some great lines uh, when you told Superman, um, if you're all powerful, then you can't be all good. If you're all good, you can't be all powerful. I thought it was that was that was amazing, but it's just he did not fit in that role. Uh, but it is what it is. Now to the plot. The problem and where they went wrong is they combined Batman's origin story into Superman versus Batman. Dawn of Justice and the thing is if you're casual movie core and you're coming in you see Superman versus Batman you expect fisticuffs all the movie every every opportunity they have they're gonna be going at it no that's not what this movie was at all it, it was never that I mean we had a fight but for most of the movie it was build up it was um, kind of introducing us to Batman kind of introducing us to the other the others um, and it was weird because I compare it to this. Say on YouTube, right? You miss a you miss an episode review, and then you decide that you're gonna upload two episode reviews in one. Then you're like, oh man, why didn't people like my 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 double reviews? You know, it's a longer video, but yeah, it was it was too long. You and then people already seen all this stuff already. So the Batman origin stuff, it was his mother and and his dad getting shot. I mean, it, it looked great, but it was just like. Uh, I know this already. I've seen this a dozen times before and then we had him like it was like a 20 minute sequence of him his backstory at the beginning and it was just like dude this is mm, it's dragging on and as a fan of you know DC and all that it was it was okay with I didn't mind it. The thing is I went with someone and then they were just like um why is this taking so long to get started? And I'm just like, this is, this is part of it. What I should have done is given Ben Affleck his own movie, done all that introduction to origin, because at this point, Ben Affleck, ben Affleck, he has gray in his hair. He has all that stuff. It's like, show us the struggle. Show us where he came from in a separate movie. Introduce us to him then, and then you progress to um, Batman versus Superman, because you, it was kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, it was like a clickbait title, but then you just got a little bit of it, a little bit of Batman versus Superman, but it's really an introduction to Batman, and to to the Justice League. We had good moments in there. The beginning um, with Superman coming in there. The, it, it's with saving Lewis Lane. That was that was that was good. But we had moments where um, Batman had had a random dream about him fighting Superman, which was kind of weird. And it was like, I'm not sure what this is about. But he's, he's he's in the desert, and it's just like, okay, why was this in there? In the movie, it, it kept it was going. It was a, all over the place. It, it kept like I was like, okay, I'm not sure. What they meant but i gotta tie it in this whole thing with doomsday at the end he just seemed like he was a throw in like all right mm, how can we make this better let's throw doomsday in there and he just seemed like a, a, a minor character when we know he's a lot more than that and it just he just got thrown in at the end and, and it wasn't a very long i mean it was like the best parts but it wasn't I feel like doomsday should have his separate movie with superman so they rushed it. I feel like they rushed it and they're trying to rush this Justice League movie and they should have taken the Marvel route. I know it's like a competition day, you don't want to copy, but if it's not broke, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So it's like, just do the individual movies. Do your Aquaman, Aquaman movie, do your Wonder Woman movie, do your Batman movie, do um, your Cyborg movie, do all these different movies, then bring them together. Introduce us to the characters and then you go from there because right now I don't know these people. And then you're trying to do this in the middle of Batman versus Superman, and that's not what's happening. It would be hard to sit down and watch two and a half hours of introduction, essentially. But listen, the Batman versus Superman fight, that was really good. If you're a fan of Superman, it's cringy. It's it's it's, it's really like Batman really hated Superman. And that was kind of weird because he really hated Superman. Like he had he despised Superman. And then this whole thing comes up with they have their mothers have the same name. And all of a sudden, they're best friends. That easy? That easy? It was just like, I put myself in that situation where me, me and this guy that I hate, and him and I 
our moms have the same first name and because of that I'm gonna be friends with him again mm, I don't I don't think so I don't think so that was that was that was weird I'm trying to think of another scene that really that I really enjoyed I mean um the Batman chasing them through the city to get the kryptonite that was pretty cool I mean it was just like how he was antagonizing Superman the whole time Superman was like this is mercy blah 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 I just feel like I wanted more Batman versus Superman and that's not what I got I got um a, <laughs> a two and a half hour Justice League trailer essentially that's, that's that's what it was and it was just like mm, do better i mean out of 10 it's probably a solid seven a solid seven but if you're casual movie goer that don't know a lot about the dc universe you know and just just wanted to ha get an enjoyable movie that superman versus batman probably a five probably a five and ugh, I can't get mad at them because it's two and a half hours and you didn't get that much action. It was a lot of build up, a lot of introduction. So that's what it was. Let me know what you thought about this movie. Like I said, a seven, solid seven. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm a Superman guy, so I was rooting for Superman. So like I said, the Batman scenes when he's whooping his ass was cringy, but uh, it was all right. It wasn't, it wasn't that. It was, it was okay. It was okay. So again, let me know what you think. Like if you did subscribe to the channel, if you haven't, that would be dope. Have a good day, people.